23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. A former Bakersfield police detective serving time in prison for his role in a drug ring has been released. Demacio Diaz has been released from a halfway house in Sacramento. That's according to the Federal Bureau of Prisons. Officials say he was released last Friday. In 2016, Diaz was found guilty of federal programs bribery, possession, and attempted possession with the intent to distribute methamphetamine and making and subscribing a false income tax return. Along with fellow BPD detective Patrick Morrow, the two were sentenced to five years in federal prison, but both had their sentences reduced. Morrow was released back in April. Bakersfield police need your help in locating this man, 28-year-old David Campos. He is suspected of being, being involved in the killing of 22-year-old Jesse Anthony Alvarez. Officials say Alvarez was found shot on Thursday night in the area of East 3rd and Whitlock Streets. Alvarez died at the scene. According to BPD, Compost is described as being 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing 200 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you're asked to call BPD at 327-7111. The American Hockey League has officially canceled the remainder of this season for the Condors, which includes the Calder Cup playoffs. The announcement was tweeted out this morning. The Condors tweeting out that the AHL's Board of Governors has officially voted to cancel the remainder of the 2019-2020 season, including the Calder Cup playoffs. Ryan Holt, the Condors Director of Media and Broadcasting, responded this morning saying it wasn't a surprise. The season was previously suspended due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Right now, there's no word on the start of the next season. On Tuesday, a wind advisory will be in effect starting at noon, running until 11 p.m. tomorrow, and it is for those light brown shaded areas on your screen. So just a few portions of the mountain areas and desert communities. So use caution when traveling. The National Weather Service is saying we could see gusts anywhere from 20 to 30 miles per hour. And here's a look at your seven day forecast. Finally getting a break in that heat and cooler weather is on the way. Tuesday here in Bakersfield, seeing a high of 77 and those upper 70s sticking around until Thursday. But as Friday approaches. We're creeping back into those 80s and over the weekend we will remain in those 80s. And here's a look at your seven day forecast for those mountain areas. Kern River Valley seeing a high of 66 for tomorrow. Tehachapi and Fraser Park will be at 61. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.